Hi, yeah. Thank you for pressing play and being part of all this. We're looking forward to uh, talking about heaven. And uh, the first thing I want to say is that that when Jesus rose from the dead, it was just revolutionary. It it it. For Christians, it solved an argument that the Sadducees had been ha having with the Pharisees about whether there was such a thing as a resurrection. Um, and before that, most people didn't really believe in one. Even in the Old Testament, there's hardly anything about the resurrection from the dead. In fact, a couple of places sort of says that there isn't one. But three scriptures in the Old Testament, in the entire 39 books, seem to indicate a, a post-death experience of God and, and a resurrection. Uh, but Jesus' resurrection changed the whole uh, emphasis of teaching and, and preaching so that the, the, in, and in Acts, the preaching is all about the resurrection. Jesus has been raised from the dead. We can have new life. We can have resurrection life with him. So this resurrection thing is really important. Mm, it's interesting when Jesus comes back and he's still got the scars in his hands from where the nails have been and Thomas wants to yeah. touch them and everything's sort of the same after Jesus dies. I don't know yeah. why he'll still have that body in heaven, but... Well, he does, doesn't he? It's a physical re yeah. resurrection. The The body is 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 raised. There's, you know, the only thing that's left is the grave clothes. Mm. There's no bones around. The, the body is raised. And Paul mm. takes from that in 1 Corinthians 15, he takes from that the fact that our bodies are raised. And that, that this resurrection, because we're in Christ, we share his resurrection and our physical bodies are raised so um which for some of us might be a little concerning but <laughs> the the idea is that this body this one is is a seed um paul talks about a seed that that falls into the ground and dies and produces fruit and this fruit is a a new body and jesus body he had food didn't he he um touched things he said touch mm. me uh, he could walk through walls, which is interesting. I think that's because he's so physical, so solid. We mm. talked about that on Sunday. But the the idea that, that this is a physical resurrection. So the idea of the immortality of the soul, that's Plato. That's We're not on that. The idea that we're... Um, we, we somehow escape from this body at death, that's, that's rubbish. That's not a thing. It's a physical resurrection. Mm. I remember when um, I was at uni and we were discussing with um, a group of friends what heaven would look like and what the resurrection bodies would look like and we'd always joke about whether, you know, we'd have six packs or whether we'd be thin <laughs> or tall, like, you know, what age we'd be when, we, when we're born again. But, yeah, it's yeah. mind-blowing to think about the fact that our bodies are raised to life again just as Jesus yeah. was yeah. and Lazarus and... And the other one. Yeah, I'd, li <laughs> I'd like the to girl think the girl, was yeah, the uh, <laughs> funeral. The, the, uh, I'd like to think that my body will be like I've always had the exact number of calories that I should have done. You know, because for a whole part of my life, I ate far too many, far too few calories, and now I eat far too many, and 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 somehow it would be. An anyway, um, the, <laughs> the, the, the this resurrection body. Paul says uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, I think it's verse 49, um, where it says, uh, as just as we have borne the likeness of the earthly man, that's Adam, so we've borne the likeness of Adam, so we shall bear the likeness of the man from heaven, that, that's Jesus. And so whatever our resurrection bodies look like, they look like Jesus. But I think they also are our bodies, so they look like us. And uh, you have that... Um, computer thing don't you where you can swap faces and uh, so that thing it looks like jesus but it looks like us so it's authentically us and so i i think that's so important that we develop our character that we develop our uh, uh and we look after our bodies and that that we so that we have a kindly face and we have a determined look and we have those things that are reflected in our our face that is something of jesus and and so we're becoming like Jesus now, and that is completed. And it's really us, and it's really like Jesus. Mm. And that's heaven. I mean, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's great. The, the other bit I wanted to talk about was the new heaven and new earth in Revelation chapter 20. Because it's, in, in the English, it sounds like it's sort of out with the old and in with the new. And, and it's not that at all. It's, it's again, it's, 
it's much more this is not the language that is used but it's much more like a seed it's it's a renewal it's it's the the idea that there's a new heaven and earth or skies heaven and and earth that that is a flourishing of the seed of the old one so again we need to look after it again we need to to care for the earth and subdue it in the way that we were meant to do from genesis and and because it that's what it becomes that's its destiny and its destiny is to have no sea because that's chaos and and all of that stuff and but it's a new heaven and new earth in the same way we will have a new body like the one that we have now but a new one and so the new heaven and earth is is similar to that Mm, i think with um in terms of bodily resurrection and with the new heaven and new earth everything's trying to go back to Eden because we're obviously east of Eden and we're trying to get back to that perfect creation where there wasn't any chaos um and so yeah that yeah there's that yeah. completion of that absolutely um absolutely it's certainly a completion of the Genesis 1 story and mm. the the bringing order into chaos and all of that stuff and then there's a new Jerusalem that comes out of heaven the church the new Jerusalem coming out of heaven like a cube um, a huge cube. I mean, the size of the known world, which is interesting. That 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 cube, that set the kingdom, that church, is it fills the the known world uh, at the time, and and it's cubed. And and the only thing that I can find in the whole of the Bible that's a cube is the holy of holies. And you've got this idea that the holy of holies which was the center of the temple which was also a cube has somehow grown that the kingdom of god the rule of god the domain of god that that was in the holy of holies has somehow now grown to to be the size of the whole earth uh, and it comes out of heaven and and this church now dominates this new creation and and there is an outside to it but but inside there's security and there's prosperity and there's peace and there's a river and there's healing and there's no tears or sadness or mourning or crying or pain. And, and all of that beauty and, and glory is, is in this city, which is the church, which has filled the whole earth. And it, it's the completion of everything that we're going for now. Mm -hmm. I remember reading um, about the New Jerusalem and reading about the rubies and sapphires and the gold and silver. Yeah. And and it all the picture sounds so good that that John paints and um, yeah I didn't realise about the Holy of Holies but that yeah, just I've makes it even up. better. Well yeah <laughs> you could be right. I'm sure. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it, it's so much more good that God's presence will sort of surround everything. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Potentially. And, it, and it's community and it's church and in the middle of it all it says the dwelling of God is with men. They will see him face to face. And this, so I just want us to get a better vision of heaven. It's mm. not me sitting on a cloud playing a harp. It's not me escaping my body. It's not me seeing God, which is really fantastic. And, and it is that. But it's it's also community. It's mm. us. It's, it's the completion of the church. And it's like what we're doing now is a seed that flowers into this new Jerusalem. Like what we're doing in the earth is a seed that flowers into the, the new heaven and new earth. And what we're doing with our bodies now is a seed that flowers into a resurrection body. And uh, we reap what we sow. Anything else to say? Shall we finish? No, I'm happy Excellent. With that. Good. End of series. <laughs> um, there probably won't be a DVD next week. Uh, so, but have a good time as you talk about this stuff. And see you in a bit. Bye bye.